a coworker. Um, I want to give you an update on this weird incident we currently have. This is of the this is loop. This is local. This is Loop 101 eastbound, 19th Avenue. We have an incident where a man jumped out of an ambulance, and I've heard two conflicting reports. One report, what there was quote unquote, the word body used, which leads me to believe that perhaps the person is now deceased. Um, and then another, another incident, like a uh, report came back saying that the, that the unknown injuries, unknown injuries leads you to believe, okay. Um, but they were in the JD. Hi. Okay. Can you repeat what you said? It was he, his his he was in the what section of the freeway? The gore point of the freeway. Yes. And do we know if alive or dead? And this is the incident where the man jumped out of the ambulance. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Goodbye. All right, now the gore point, I was just, uh, it was just explained to me that this gore point is the two lines when you're exiting, uh, unconfirmed that this in individual jumped out of the ambulance. I have to say that. I have to say I'm confirmed. Um, but what a weird story. This is what we're looking at. We're trying to see if this person is alive or dead. Allegedly, this individual jumped out of an ambulance. Their body is in the quote-unquote gore point of this freeway. Um, just to reiterate, we currently are at Loop 101 eastbound 19th Avenue, and we're waiting to see if this individual, you can see the multiple rescue um, uh, between the police and fire. They've got multiple units there on scene, and we're waiting to see if this individual is alive or deceased. Uh, injuries are, are unknown, but originally we heard um, a report of uh, a body which definitely leads you in the direction of deceased and allegedly this individual jumped out of an ambulance and how does that even happen by the way so a pretty frightening scene out of Phoenix Arizona this again is a local story and we're gonna cover this we're gonna continue to cover this these ADOT cameras are absolutely fascinating did you know they don't save ADOT footage isn't that strange when the I-10 shooting uh, chaos was going on you know you you thought to yourself how do they not have some footage of this individual the shooter and reality is is ada does not save this footage you know there are multiple agencies that can stream it and save it for themselves if they'd like to but ada themselves do not save uh, their footage Perhaps it's because they don't want to get overwhelmed with attorneys calling if there's an accident somewhere um, and they just don't want to have to deal with being a source for um, lawsuits. But what we're looking at now is a pretty frightening site. Uh, Loop 101 eastbound 19, around 19th Avenue um, where allegedly an individual jumped out of an ambulance and is in the gore zone of the freeway those two that little area when you're trying to exit and we don't know if they're deceased or what they're currently saying is injuries are unknown um, so a pretty unusual evening here on Fox 10 News now to say the least
I'm here with you on the mic. I took my, my camera down because I don't want you to miss anything, but I am here with you still waiting to get additional updates on this bizarre story off Loop 101 eastbound 19th Avenue where an individual allegedly jumped out of an ambulance. Pretty scary case. Prop I mean, can you imagine being on the freeway and stumbling upon a site like this? Uh, you know, I, I, I personally haven't witnessed the body or the individual I, the last report I received was that unknown injuries, uh, but the initial report we received was the word body. So conflicting reports coming out, um, and I'm waiting on confirmation from DPS. A strange story to say the least, though. See, we're, what are we watching the officer do? Okay, so the officer on the right side is clearly laying out cones. Um, but, but if there was somebody there that was capable of being you know, um, if there was somebody there that needed medical support, wouldn't they just pick that person up, throw them in the ambulance and take off again? You know, so this is a very, very, very strange incident that we're watching. Is the body still on the freeway? I didn't see it initially, so I don't know what point to look at. But you can see we've got multiple rescue units out there between officers, a fire truck, and I, I don't even see an ambulance here. But an, we, the initial reports is that an individual leapt out of an ambulance onto the freeway. Is that is that an, a suicide attempt? There's a lot of questions we currently have as we watch this situation unfolding via ADOT cameras. This is at Loop 101 eastbound 19th Avenue. And I'm here with you via microphone, but I did temporarily take Kenzie Cam down because I thought I didn't want you to miss a beat. Welcome, Ale. Hey. Unfuzz. Come on, A dot.
Hi, Stephen. Welcome to Fox 10 News Now. In case you are just joining us, uh, we are currently looking at Loop 101 eastbound around 19th Avenue, a very strange incident. Um, we are getting mixed, conflicting reports, but what I've heard is an individual allegedly jumped out of an ambulance, and we are unaware if they are what their what the status of their injuries are somebody was just hovering his name is sean he's uh, begs to interrupt me and disrupt me and disrupt my life sean he's my work husband though so it's fine um we are concerned with this situation that we've been watching for approximately 10 or 15 minutes an individual allegedly jumped out of an ambulance i've but we've seen a lot of the uh um police vehicles have disappeared the body of the individual was the initial way that they reported it it's now being uh, reported that the injuries are unknown but the person is allegedly in the gore area zone of the freeway which is the two lanes or that, that those lanes when you're you're approaching an exit and we are waiting to see how this turns out and if this person in fact did jump out of an ambulance why were they in that ambulance we don't know um, but a very unique night on news now we don't typically see look at them all this is like traffic slowing down in that one lane we don't typically see issues like this and um, another interesting fact about these ADOT cameras that I, I had mentioned earlier, they don't save this footage, which I think is so strange. They don't save and store this footage. So it's not like we can rewind from before we started this to see the actual incident take place. No one, uh, 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 this is, you know, people can publicly access these videos, um, but n there's not, a giant server that saves all of this content so it's not like we can go back and back and back to see what actually took place on camera because no one saves this stuff um, that would that was an issue uh, oh that was an issue initially with the i-10 shooter that these incidents were happening and there were cameras everywhere, but since they didn't store them, they couldn't go see a suspect after a shooting occurred because no one saved those videos. Um, I am getting word of a foot pursuit at 30th Avenue and Cactus. Uh, our Skyfox is heading there now, so we might, is that where the person is? No, surely not, where all the officers are hovered. Okay, so we do have a foot pursuit that we are following right now near 30th Avenue and Cactus. I'm gonna take you there once Sky Fox gets there. I see Sky Fox in the air right now, but they are not at the location. I don't know what the foot pursuit is in regards to, but I can ask for additional details. So um, once I have those details, I will share them with you, but I see Sky Fox in the air. Oh, whoa. So now we're looking at, did they already arrest him? Whoa, whoa! Oh, remove me! Is that the per, oh, the suspect's already been nabbed. Everyone's in custody, it was a stolen car. Mm. That's, that's, the, that's the posture of a defeat.